guys, I'm here to do a revised DVD update. I posted one last night, but I didn't really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this the normal way I do. I recently purchased Sailor Moon Crystal Set 2 on DVD. I purchased it at Walmart for $29.95. Basically $30. I have watched this whole season both in Japanese and English. I really enjoyed the English version. It's nice hearing your favorite characters in a show and understanding what they're saying without reading subtitles, but I also really enjoyed the Japanese version too, and I think they both have their distinctive qualities that are worth giving each of you. If you'd like to read anything, as always, just pause the video. And I like that this set includes both the English and Japanese audio. I wish they would make the Blu-rays a little bit more affordable so I could get those as well. But, you know, I'm just glad to get any kind of Sailor Moon in my collection because I was not able to get these as a child. So it's nice to be able to have these and be able to watch them whenever I please. I think the cover art is really beautiful. I think they picked a great image for it. Uh, this season, um, you can tell there are some differences from Sailor Moon Classic to Sailor Moon Crystal, which I hear, this is closer to the ma manga. And there are some times when I like they don't add filler because I'm like, I just want to finish the story, get to the point. Let's not add filler, but there, I also really enjoy the filler episodes for what they have as well. There are certain points for both of them. Like, if it's a Saturday and you have time to watch all these filler episodes, you're going to want to watch them because you grew up with them. That's nice. It's, it's nice to relive those moments. But if you're wanting to watch Sailor Moon on an average night, like on Monday or something, you're going to want to get to the story a lot faster than, well, what what the classic one had for a whole season. Or if you're like me, you could enjoy both whenever, but I'm just trying to explain what what they kind of feel like. Sailor Moon Classic, watching them all feels like you would watch them all on a Saturday. This feels more like it's uh, paced faster to end faster, is what I'm trying to explain, but... For the season review, I really liked that they kept the crystal style animation. I think it's really beautiful. I like Sailor Moon Crystal maybe a little bit more than Sailor Moon Classic or just about even. But what, one of the points I really like Crystal is because it's a little more serious. It's a little darker. It's not so lighthearted. If that makes sense. Um, I feel that they take take Crystal more seriously. <clears throat> I have not watched all of Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 yet. I have watched bits and pieces or episodes here and there, but I've never I haven't watched it all the way through. But I plan to do that once I can watch it all the way through in the English dub and the Japanese dub at, at the same time. So, that probably won't be till at least the end of the year. Till Viz releases the Viz dub for that. But I'm really looking forward to it. Because of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. This is a slip cover. It did come with a slip cover. It has the same cover art. I want to thank you all for watching, listening to me ramble on about Sailor Moon, which I could do for hours. 
If you all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button down below. Until next time, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.